Hello. Yeah! <laughs> Hugs. Your mom probably knows me. No, no, I mean, don't have any, like, a little bit just, like, landed on my lip. Welcome to My Drunk Kitchen. Hey guys, this week on My Drunk Kitchen, I am joined by the one, the only, Neve Schulman. Hi guys. Now, some of you may know, uh, Neve is the host and creator of the show Catfish. I was the first public victim of a catfish, and, and subsequently coined the phrase and now host the show. Yes, correct. And I actually would like to say that you are the first public survivor of a catfish, okay? Like True. words. You're right, thank you. Words of power. Ding ding. Neve, what do you think we're gonna be making today on My Drunk Kitchen? Well, I love pizza. Ugh. I wasn't thinking about your interests so much oh. as your SEO. So we're making catfish! I'm fish. super excited to make catfish because I never feel comfortable ordering it because I feel like it's a it's like almost I'm I'm making a joke of myself to say like I'll have the catfish. Oh <laughs> right. I can't even imagine how many different types of people you've gotten to know. I think there's mostly just one kind of person. The I human race? We're all pretty much the same. I think. I mean, we all want basically the same things. Fried food. Fried food. Step one, in a large resealable bag, combine the first nine ingredients. What the f Hey! One quarter cup flour. Okay. One quarter cup cornmeal. Onion powder. One, two, I don't, that looks about right. One teaspoon, so. Half a teaspoon garlic salt. Half Actually. a teaspoon, okay, great. How much cayenne powder? I don't know, but something. He's doing the pepper today. I very rarely say this, but this bag smells great. You know what they say? That a catfish has nine lives. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, don't give away all your secrets, then you'll be letting the catfish out of the bag. Catfish. It's, I think it's time to let the catfish out of the bag, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Ginger beer. So now we're gonna add our catfish we just took the catfish out of the bag, and now we're actually putting it back in a different bag. Is that what you do with the people on your show? You try and take them into a new life, a life where they could be... Yeah, it's like when you go to the pet store and you're like, Whoa! Because I want it to look like this. You know what? I can't promise it's going to look like your expectations. Are you telling me that this catfish might not, might not actually end up looking like it does in the pictures? <laughs> catfish. Put your catfish slop into your bag slop. Well, why, we could feel it. <laughs> now that you've seen your catfish for what it is, do what Taylor Swift would do and just shake it off. Whoop. Now we're cooking. So we'll put the butter on here. Oh, quarter cup of butter. While we wait for the butter to melt, let me ask you some personal questions. Great. If I was doing a show like yours, by the way, I've been a fan. I like catfish. Not the food, but the programming. I mean, I don't know you yet. I might like you for what you are. Let's talk about it later. Anyway, if I were the host of a show like Catfish, I would have a really hard time detaching and I would feel so drained by every experience. How do you create a situation that's perforated enough that you can bond to experiences, but enough of a barrier for you that you can walk away not carrying this with you? It's tough. Cheers to you, Neve, because you, I think, are doing a very difficult job. And, by the way, I'll be the first to tell you that I need fixing also. That's probably why you're able to do the job. Yeah. Now that I've grilled you, let's grill this catfish. Oh. 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 Nice. Nailed it. It's, it's got a good weight to it. Good heft. Good heft. Ah! Whoa. Sorry. It kind of smells like French toast. Oh my god, he's right. Do, 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 do. I did a little poop poop. A poop. Good poop pooping. Boo! Wow! Oh my god, do you guys see how good this looks? Holy shit, we did it again! Now that you put your catfish on a scissor pan. Ooh! Great sound effects. Hey guys, look, we made catfish! We sure did. Um. Mm. That's actually that's actually really good. That tastes exactly like how it should. Sometimes the thing you're going for might not be what you get, but you should always hope for the best, unless you're living in a world of denial and repression. Think about that. Check, please. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of My Drunk Kitchen. Be sure to check out Neve's show on MTV, but also be sure to check out Neve on all the social media platforms listed below. Yeah. And thank you for coming, how was it? It was everything I dreamed and more.
Well, that's what we like to do here at My Drunk Kitchen. You have to say have a great day. <laughs>